Education is the key to unlocking the world, a passport to freedom. This quote was given to humanity by the most influential person in the entire world, <sighs> Oprah Winfrey. We all agree that our children's education is the number one priority. Heck, even politicians who don't agree on much in any of these days. Politicians often support education because all of America agrees that our educational system is broken and that we need to fix it. I will be talking about how to change the odds for kids growing up in poverty. Today, I will be taking a look and examining the educational system and seeing how it is broken. I will also be talking about what we could do to change the odds. So, how is our educational system broken? Well, I could go on and on about pointing different problems we have, such as teachers having low wages, students not having access to the internet, or even the common core. But let's get right to the point. The main reason why the school system is broken is because schools don't have enough funding. According to edweek.org, schools just don't get enough money. Even though our economy has grown the past years, the government just doesn't seem to give more money. According to a 2017 article written by the New York Times, education only accounts for 3% of the national budget. That is $17.6 billion. Sure, that sounds like a lot, but in compared to the military budget of $598 billion, this just isn't enough. We need to demand the politicians to increase and change their spending priorities. We need to increase our budget, not by millions of dollars, but billions of dollars. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the prime reason why our educational system is broken. So what can we do if the budget was properly increased? Well, what are, how can we change the odds for kids growing up in poverty? Well, it's simple. Give all students access to the internet give free lunch, give the schools enough money to continue their arts programs and sports programs with no cost to the students and give all students access to free education. What I mean by this is give every kid access to education from kindergarten all their way to their senior year in college or university. I know, I know that right now I am sounding like a Bernie, but hear me out. The number one reason why kids do not go further than high school is because of college tuition. College tuition right now is the highest debt in the United States. We could change this. Like our president would say, let's make America great. For this, it's going to be very difficult. There's going to be a lot of budget cuts and we need to distribute money differently but it could be done. Now, what can you do to make a change as of today? Well, the answer is as simple as turning on your TV or smartphone. And if you would like to take a step further than that, then contact your Congress representative and tell them about how you think they should be voting right now in Washington, DC. If everyone is informed, then we will see change, not only with education, but with every other topic surrounding our country. So, our education is the foundation and future of our country. Heck, even the world. If people are educated, then our world might one day become a utopia. Now, what can we do to change the odds for kids growing up in poverty? Give every student access to free education. Now, this is not for certain, but isn't that the whole point of economics? Drawing conclusions based on logic? Students 
need the opportunity. And in this country, the opportunity costs money. So we need to change this. Is my idea far-fetched? Sure, you can make that conclusion. But you must remember that our kids are our legacy, our future. We should be doing everything in our power to make our present better for their future.